they were warning me, be careful, this is too big for you. There were rumours related to something called a Super League project that would flip the power structures of the world's most popular sport. I'm the president of the most powerful sports organisation in the world. It's a community. The community. Community. It's a quasi-religion where we go to the stadium rather than the church. But this vast inequality has been growing for 10 years. The rich getting richer, running away from the rest, leaving them with crumbs. The owners used to be local. To succeed now, you have to be owned by a small country. More money has meant more problems. Europe's leading football clubs have joined together to form a breakaway Super League. You should look for better solutions. Something which is well done can be done better. The younger generation, they want to see the big matches and they want to see the drama. I was obviously blind because he was my friend. I realized that it's a betrayal. The most powerful clubs wanted to build a future of football that they wholly own and wholly control, eliminating hundreds of competing teams just with the stroke of a pen. If this Super League would happen, the development of football would stop. I am in love with the games, with the passion of the games. I am in love with winning the games, but I am not in love with the governance. Big countries, big politics, big business. This sport, it's been hijacked. Now the war for football has started.